the National Cancer Institute through the, what used to be called the GOG, now called Energy Oncology, did a randomized phase two CTEP sponsored trial called GOG 186I. We have lots of these studies in this queue. These are patients with recurrent ovarian cancer up to three prior regimens. We randomized 107 patients with, uh, to either bevacizumab as a single agent or bevacizumab with the vascular disrupting agent fosbrotibulin every three weeks until disease progression or toxicity. And we saw, saw an improvement in progression-free survival and response rate. A very exciting idea combining targeted agents, again, improving the progression-free survival from 4.8 to 7.3 months with a hazard ratio of 0.69 and improving response rates from 28 to 36 percent. But most important was in the platinum resistant setting. You're aware that in November we got bevacizumab approved in platinum resistant recurrent ovarian cancer and we combine it with chemotherapy. And in that study the progression free survival of chemotherapy alone in platinum resistant disease was 3.4 months. And when bevacizumab was added to that, the progression-free survival was 6.7 months. Well, in this study, the same results, but there was no chemotherapy. So in this study, bevacizumab alone, PFS 3.4, bevacizumab fosbrotibulin 6.7, the same as the label. But it's not chemotherapy versus chemotherapy BEV, it's BEV versus BEV vascular disrupting agent. And so our, moving forward, our focus is to get away from cytotoxic chemotherapy because it is more toxic. We got a Laprib approved in December, okay? So we have more targeted therapies, two of them approved in 2014, and now we're combining them together because they're probably better tolerated. So this was important for two reasons. One, vascular disrupting agents are a new class of compounds. We validated that and it can, can be combined with uh, uh, bevacizumab and improved response rate and progression-free survival. And very intriguing in those patients with the highest unmet medical need, platinum-resistant disease.